Now turn the transmission around to the electrical connector. First, you'll need to break the connector away from the transmission case. Squeeze the tabs here to push the connector down through the case. I use an inch and 5 sixteenths 12 point socket for this. Now push the connector down. It will drop about a quarter of an inch. Next, remove the transmission bottom pan. By removing these 16 bolts located here, go ahead and remove the filter. Next is the removal of the wiring harness located here. Notice the color of the wires on shift solenoid A and B. This is where a good camera will come in handy. Some 4L60Es will have harness hold down straps located here. Next, you'll need to remove the lockup solenoid by removing these two bolts located here and here. Be careful here when removing the lockup solenoid. It is a part of the wiring harness and can be damaged very easily. On late model 4L60Es, you will need to remove the PWM TCC solenoid first before you can safely remove the lockup solenoid. The PWM TCC solenoid is short for pulse width module and TCC is short for torque converter clutch. To remove the solenoid, unclip it from the harness and remove the retaining clip. Then the solenoid just simply pulls from the bore. Now you can remove that lockup solenoid. Once the solenoid bolts are removed, this solenoid will also pull from its bore. To completely remove the harness from the case, you will first need to remove the valve body. Now don't forget to disconnect the force motor located here. Next, remove the pressure manifold switch. To remove the pressure manifold switch, you'll need to remove these five bolts. Next, remove the detent lever by removing this bolt. Now it's time to remove the valve body. You'll need to remove 14 bolts. But before we remove the valve body, there are several steps you'll need to know. Underneath the valve body are seven quarter inch check balls. Be careful not to lose them. Also, notice the position of the dipstick guard. And third, you'll need to properly remove the manual valve and linkage. Now let's remove those valve body bolts. Now you can remove these bolts in any order. It really doesn't matter. Notice the red and black circles. The red are 10 millimeter headed bolts and the black are 8 millimeter. Be careful here not to damage or drop the valve body. It houses many springs and valves as well as electrical solenoids. It is a very sensitive unit and can damage very easily. For now, let's just set it off to the side we will get more into the valve body later. Be careful not to lose the manual valve. And don't forget the manual valve link. Next, let's remove that wiring harness.